To start this warm up, we're going to go into arm swings. So arms out to the side, bringing them across your chest. Each time you come across your chest, just make sure the other arm is over top. We're going to go back and forth for 45 seconds. So let your arms feel nice and loose, stretching out into your back when they come across, chest and front of the shoulders when you bring them back. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving into trunk rotations. So you're gonna bring your legs nice and wide, toes are gonna to angle out about 45 degrees, bending into the legs and then fully support your hands on them. Keeping a nice, strong torso, chest pressed, back flat. You're circling at the low back and the hips, one direction coming down to the side and all the way back up. We're gonna go one way for 20 seconds and then the other way. So you should feel kind of a stretch throughout your trunk, which is like into your sternum, your core and your back. You don't need to go fast, focus on a large range of motion. All right, go the other way. All right, time's up. We're moving into butt kicks. So standing comfortable, we're just gonna alternate, kicking one heel up towards your butt at a time. We're gonna go for 45 seconds. So just light on those feet as you kick your legs up. Option, just stand and do them instead. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving into a chest fly. You'll need a set of dumbbells. Grab something on the lighter side. Lying back on your back, feet are planted. Back is pressed down into the ground. So suck the belly button into the spine and press that back down. Micro bend in the elbows, letting the arms fly out wide to the sides. They should hover above the ground using the chest to bring them back up, squeezing at the top. We're going to repeat this movement for 30 seconds. So you don't want to lock your arms out, just have a very soft bend in the elbows. Just enough so they're not locked out, but you want them relatively straight. So we're targeting a different angle and part of the chest. It, this one is more difficult than a chest press, so you will notice you need lighter weights. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving into supine tricep extensions. So grabbing a set of weights, a little bit on the lighter side, feet are planted, and hips are relaxed down. Head is relaxed, shoulders are set down away from the ears, and your back is pressed down into the ground. Lock your shoulders and your elbows in place. You're gonna bend back at the elbows, bringing those weights towards your temples, and then full extension 
squeezing your triceps at the top. Make sure your elbows don't fall out wide. You want to almost round them inward the entire time. We're going to repeat this movement for 30 seconds. So full extension, squeeze your triceps at the top. And again, you want those elbows no wider than shoulder width apart. Keep pressing your back down into the ground the entire time, belly button drawn in to help. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving into a plank jack to pop jack. So this is an advanced cardio and full body exercise. We're gonna start in a high plank position. So your hands are underneath your shoulders in a high plank. You're gonna hop your legs out and in for the plank jack. Then you're gonna hop them wide and up. The goal is to have flat feet sitting low on the hips, lift your hands up, place them down, and then come back to the starting position. Your options to tap the toes, step the feet instead of hop them. Just make sure that you're not up on your toes on that pop jack as it's tough on your knees, so you want flat feet. So we're gonna do these two exercises combined for 30 seconds. So plank out and hop up. Try to keep your hips low, belly button drawn in the entire time. All right, time's up, go ahead and relax. We're moving into a reverse grip low row. You're gonna start with your feet about hip distance apart. Micro bend in the knees, drive the hips back and bring the chest facing the ground. Back is flat, belly buttons in, squeezing your shoulder blades. You're gonna have your arms down in front with your palms facing away from you. So you're actually turning those weights away. You're driving up and back through the elbows, squeezing the shoulder blades and releasing back down. Repeating this movement for 30 seconds. So keeping those shoulders down away from the ears, drawing back, leading in the elbows, big squeeze of the shoulder blades, and then return. Try to keep your chin tucked down towards your chest so that your neck is neutral. So we're targeting the back right in between those shoulder blades. You're also gonna feel your biceps a little bit because of that reverse grip. All right, time's up, go ahead and relax. We're moving back into the chest fly, grabbing those weights, lying down, Feet are planted. Again, glue your back down to the ground. Micro bend in the elbows. We're going for 45 seconds. Flying them wide and squeezing your chest at the top. If you start to get tired, you can reduce your range of motion, so don't come down quite as far. Just make sure you're not turning it into a big bend in those elbows. You wanna keep those arms opened up wide. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving back into supine tricep extensions. So grabbing those weights, feet are planted, relaxing down, back is pressed. This time we're gonna go for 45 seconds. So remember to lock those elbows in, no wider than shoulder width apart, full extension, squeeze your triceps 
at the top. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving back into the plank jack to pop jack. So coming down into the high plank, we're gonna repeat it again for 30 seconds. Again, flat feet when you're hopping those legs up and lifting your hands. Try your best to keep your hips down, tailbone tucked under and belly button drawn in. All right, time's up, gotta relax. We're moving back into the reverse grip, low row. So coming into the hip hinge position, back flat, palms facing away, we're gonna row for one minute. So again, your main focus is drawing back in the elbows, squeezing the shoulder blades, and then returning. Back should be nice and flat, chest is pressed. Think about rowing those weights towards the bottom of your rib cage. So nice and low, it's gonna help keep your shoulders away from your ears. All right, time's up, go ahead and relax. We're moving into bear crawl. You wanna start on one end of your mat in tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Tuck the toes under and press so that your knees are slightly hovering above the ground. Back is flat, belly buttons in. You're gonna take your opposite hand and foot, take a small step forward and then repeat on the other side. We're gonna go the length of the mat forward and then back, just alternating for 30 seconds. So opposites, small steps, Try to stay as stable in the back as you can. You don't need to go fast, just focus on stability. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving into a shoulder sequence. You'll need a set of dumbbells. You wanna grab something that's pretty light as we'll be holding it in an up position for a while. So you're gonna soften your knees, draw that belly button in. You want just a small bend in the elbows, just enough so the arms aren't totally straight. So just a soft bend. Lifting them both up straight in front in line with your shoulders. Bring those straight out to the sides, back to the front, and then return back down. We're gonna repeat that sequence for 30 seconds. So up, out, keeping your shoulders relaxed down away from your ears. You wanna to try to go slowly through that motion as you're lifting and turning the weights. Keeping them just in line with the shoulders, no higher. Option, reduce the range of motion and keep the weights lower.
All right, time's up. Go to relax. We're moving into squat jacks. You're going to start by jumping your feet out and dropping down into a squat. Your knees and toes can be out slightly, coming up, feet together at the top. That's one movement. We're going to repeat it for 30 seconds. So squatting when your legs are wide, jumping feet into the center. Your option, step side to side instead. Try to still reach back, heavy heels, light toes on the squat, and then balls the feet when your feet jump into the center. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving into a hip hinge swing. So grab a dumbbell or heavier object. If you have something 15 pounds or heavier, that would be awesome. So we're gonna start with our feet right around hip distance apart. The movement, you wanna baby bend in the knees that does not increase. So as we drive our hips back, keep that small bend. You wanna bring your chest down facing the ground, back nice and flat core is on from here drive down through the heels forward through the hips to stand up squeezing your glutes at the top but with adding the weight you're going to grab it in either side as i drive my hips back swing it between your legs as you drive your hips forward swing it up but no higher than shoulder height we're going to start with 30 seconds so set your shoulders and your core drive back and up So you wanna feel this in the back of your legs, your hamstrings, and then your glutes at the top when you press your hips forward and squeeze them. Keeping that back nice and flat, chest pressed forward. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving into a pulse squat. So grabbing a dumbbell, we're gonna hold it in a goblet position. So grabbing the top of it, wrapping your arms around, and then right tight to your chest. You're gonna bring your feet shoulder width apart, driving your knees out. Reaching back on the hips and the heels to come all the way down. You're gonna come halfway up, back down, halfway down, halfway down. So we're doing three pulses, then driving all the way up, down through the heels, forward through the hips and squeeze your glutes at the top. We're gonna to repeat this movement for 30 seconds. So all the way down, three pulses, and then standing up, driving through those heels, hips forward, squeeze your glutes at the top. Make sure your knees stay pressed out the entire time. All right, time's up, go to relax. We're moving back into bear crawl. So starting on one edge of your mat, in that position, knees hover, so forward and back for 30 seconds. Remember opposite, hand to foot, small step forward, try to keep your back level. Core is on, belly buttons in. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving back into the shoulder sequence. So set position, chest is tall, belly buttons in. This time we're going for 45 seconds. So forward, out, back to the start, and down. Again, just a small bend in the elbows, just enough so they're not locked out straight.
again, your option. You can just reduce how far you're lifting those weights up or just take a break if you need to. All right, time's up, go to relax. We're moving back into squat jacks, this time for 45 seconds. Squat when the legs are wide, balls of the feet into the center. And then remember your option, step side to side, alternating which leg steps out. All right, time's up, gotta relax. We're moving back into the hip hinge swing. This time we're gonna go for one minute. So placing those feet hip distance apart, grabbing your weight, drive the hips back and swing through. Again, feeling it in the back of the legs, so the hamstrings and the glutes at the top by pressing your hips forward and squeezing them. Tension between your shoulder blades Belly button should be sucked in towards your spine. If at any point you need a break or you feel your form slipping, take a second, reset, and then go back into it. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax. We're moving back into pulse squats. So grabbing that weight tight to your chest, feet shoulder width apart, three pulses and then up, this time for 45 seconds. So all the way down, three pulses, and press through those heels forward through the hips at the top. Keep those knees driven out so they're over top of your ankles the entire time. Belly button in, Chest is tall. All right, time's up, go ahead and relax. Nice work today, let's get into our cool down. We're moving into a high lunge lean. Coming into the high lunge or split stamp position, ball of the back foot, taking your hips and your tailbone and scooping them under. So you're driving that back hip forward, stretching out the hip flexor. From here, keeping the chest nice and tall, taking the same arm, to hip we're stretching up and then over to lengthen throughout the side and stretch out the obliques. We're gonna hold here for 45 seconds. So try to keep your torso upright and we're just leaning over to the side, we're not folding forward. Focusing on driving through that back hip and tucking the tailbone under to feel a stretch in the front of the hip and into that hip flexor. All 
All right, time's up on that side. Go ahead and switch. Again, tuck the tailbone, drive that back hip forward, and then arm is up and over, holding for 45 seconds. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax back onto your mat. We're moving into a dynamic straddle stretch. So you're gonna start seated and then bring one leg and then the other leg out. Just bring them as far as you're able to apart. You can even take your hands on the ground and kind of push into it if you need to. Once we're here, we should be nice and tall throughout the pelvis and the torso. We're gonna keep our back flat and we're just gonna hinge off to one leg holding for 15 seconds. So it's okay, your legs don't have to be very wide. You should feel a stretch on the back of the legs and on the inner thighs here as well. All right, next 15 seconds, we're gonna come off to the other side. And then we're gonna finish right in center. So just as far as you can, walk your fingers and your hands forward, keeping your back nice and straight and holding for the final 15. So you should be increasing the stretch in the back of the legs and into the inner thighs as well. You could also feel it a little bit on the outside. All right, time's up. Slowly walk it back up and bring your legs in and relax. We're moving into cat-cow. You're gonna start in tabletop position, knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. You're going to tuck your chin down to your chest and press throughout your spine rounding it. We'll hold for a second and then we're going to let our back arch and look up straight in front of us and hold for a second. Just going back and forth for 45 seconds. Once you do a few movements, see if you can increase the range of motion just a little bit. So really press throughout that spine, make it as round as you can, and then really focus on opening up in the chest and letting that back arch. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax.